feel like I'm really, really bright. But it's gonna have to de. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is kind of a final made up in May because I didn't do one and uh, happy birthday to me because today's my actual birthday so I figured I'd get this video up before we start the new week and it's just going to be a chit chat get ready with me. Um, I have got like a really itchy eyebrow and it's doing me head in. Um, I have got a load of new stuff that I got for my birthday. If you're on social media, you may have already seen the pictures. Um, so I'm not actually gonna use the new stuff today. Well, I'm gonna use some of the new stuff. I'm just gonna use the stuff that I got from Kiko, but I'm not using my Fenty or my ABH <laughs> and a Stars Beverly Hills stuff today. So I want to use them next week because I want to do a video that's like, full face of Fenty bar in the eyeshadow and then I want to do a proper review on the ABH palette where I you know like first impressions type things so this is it and it's a really 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 simple look um it's literally just a smoky wing with shimmer all over my eye like literally it's just all the way up to my brow bone I don't know if you can tell um I like it I wasn't actually intending to put like the shimmer over the black but I think it like add something I don't know I just liked it and it's lazy and um, so without further ado, further ado let's crack on um, I'm just using a bit of the um, shape tape and Lottie London concealer just on um, to cut my brow The irony is right, when I did this brow, I put so much concealer on my brush that I couldn't actually blend it in. So I had to like take loads off my eye and this time I've not got enough on. There's a lot of that in it. Not that I need a lot because I'm only doing a simple look, but YOLO. That'll do. Right, so I'm just going to put some tape on. This is medical tape by the way. I always think it's just going to be a bit better for my eyes. Hopefully that matches. So, all I did for this look is I got my Zoeva pencil. Um, ideally you'd want it sharp and I just can't be asked when sharpening it. And I did the smallest wing. Don't do that. Don't do that while I've just done. The smallest wing ever and then make it massive. Ugh. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself. Anyway, they're not going to match now, but I don't care. Then this is just a Peaches and Cream PC07 little pencil brush. I'm just going to buff out the edges. And I slightly, like, pull my eyes a bit taunt. Is that the right word? Just to smoke out this pencil now unfortunately because I did go a bit crazy there it is going to look a bit thicker than that one but I don't care right and then because obviously that's quite a, th a big brush I just get this a flat brush this is a Morphe M508 brush again I just pull slightly pull and I'm just going to drag this just to neaten up line and when I do it like here I'm dragging like like going with the tape just so it's uh, not gonna peel off on me right so that is a bit bigger than I wanted but YOLO right that's gonna have to do <laughs> told you it was um, simple anyway I got this this is a I don't know what it just says it's a magnetic impact eyeshadow so I don't know if that's like a a style that they have like they have the water shadows um this is in zero two and it's this gorgeous like champagne gold um but like it's so metallic and it's so lovely so first thing I do is I pat it all over even all over the liner all up to my brow bone this one's way better 
And then getting a fluffy Zoeva flat shader brush, I'm just going to buff that at the top and just round this inner corner because I want to make sure it's like blended out um, but it is going right to the top. Anyway, I was meant to be telling you my life story, Werner. So, I'm 32 years young today. I'm just going to take this tape off. Oh, bollocks. It really is massive. <laughs> I'm going to clean that up with some tape because it's horrible. Right, so because I've like cleaned up that edge, I'm just going to get the brush that I used the black on and just slowly just drag it up like that. It's just to make it look more like a point rather than just like this fat splodge. This ain't about the look anyway, this is about having a chat. Uh, so I've had a really good week. I had to have a little bit of a break from... Um, filming after finishing made up in may and then i because because i was so disappointed that my last video didn't uh, go right it weren't that it didn't film it's just that i couldn't transfer the footage from the sd card onto my phone so i tried doing it through my laptop but then it wouldn't do it that way so i don't know what had gone wrong technologically wise is that a word pretty sure that's a word anyway i don't know what had gone wrong techie wise but it just wouldn't do anything so um i i had the first bit of it but then when i was trying to get the next bit it just it was wrong anyway um so i was gutted about that i'm just gonna go in with um this is the kiko Hydra Pro Glow Sublime Light Moisturising Cream. It's got an SPF of 10 in it. I thought it was a good thing to start using. Um, it's in like a funny colour, but it is really, really thin texture-wise. So I thought you don't need a lot of it because it spreads like really far. And I've cut my chin here. Um, I got some of those, are they called twinkle razors or something? That get rid of your peach fuzz. So I had a try of it. Stupid thing to do for putting, trying out makeup. And I cut, well, I think there were spots really that I've caught with them, but YOLO. That's nice. Whew. That feels nice. I am gonna go a bit extra with the, let me just zoom you out a bit. I feel like you're like right in the grill. I am gonna go in with a bit extra. This is the Glam Glow, Glow Starter um, in Pearl, Pearl Glow. I'm just going to dab a little bit of this on. I've never used this. I just was like looking through my drawers. But I think now that like Made Up In May's finished and I can just focus on like what I'm, like my channel. Obviously I could focus on it before but I'm not doing one every day. I'm going to start like shop my stash and stuff like that. So I might like put it on um, Instagram so you can say, oh yeah, use that, use that. Um, and we can start getting some of my stuff used up. Nice. And I would like to say that this eye look probably will come together at the end. Right, I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to be really boring with the foundation. I'm going to just um, use my Too Faced one just because I want to use it up. I'm just going to take a bit around my brows like I always do. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was telling you, I've got, um, I went to a spa with my mum last Sunday and then I, which was so needed because after like how intense May was and then kind of like the anticlimactic finish because obviously my footage went to shit, I was feeling a bit down and also I don't know if anyone else gets this or if it's just me and I'm just pathetic but I get like birthday blues or I get like really down about my birthday I don't know why um so anyway I went to a spa which was so nice and then yesterday which was Thursday the 6th um 
we went to the Trafford Centre so that I could go buy my birthday presents because like a lot of it was that what I was getting was makeup so obviously I have to choose it um, and yeah I had a really good time and look I've just totally cut the top of my brow off don't know why this brow is so hard to do oh well um, yeah so I went to the shop centre to go buy some um, makeup now I got um, some stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills which was what my mum got me so let me just grab my brush there it is so I got some stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills um, that my mum got me as a, my birthday present which will you you will see me use soon and you will see my birthday haul video which I'm gonna film after this I wasn't gonna bother but then I thought no I am gonna and then Fenty, Fenty, Fenty Beauty has gone on, uh, to Boots now and I have, I had loads of points saved up so I figured it was the perfect time to spend them um, trying Fenty Beauty. Now again that's going to be in my haul video because I'm going to class it as a birthday tree because I got it because it was my birthday. Um, I didn't get the foundation, I got a sample of the foundation so I am going to film like a full face of Fenty. Um, the only thing I didn't get was an eyeshadow palette. So let me know if it's okay to use a different eyeshadow palette or whether I should just use like the bronzer as an eyeshadow just so it is a full face. Um, let me know. Then again, I don't think I've got a blush for Fenty, so I'd have to use a blush anyway. Might just use another eyeshadow palette. I suppose I could like test out the Anastasia palette I got. You could even do this eye look after your foundation, to be honest. I only use tape because I'm lazy. Just gonna get this brush. I always feel like this brow doesn't like to cooperate. Do you have a brow that you like? Is you like naughty brow? <laughs> Such. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was saying to you, so um, today's obviously my 32nd birthday. Um, so I did all that at the traffic centre yesterday. I went to the ice for something to eat, which was really nice. Um, I had a coffee in Marks and Spencer's. I love Marks and Spencer's coffee in their cafe. Um, it's just like the best. If I had to choose where I was going to go for a coffee, it'd always be Marks and Spencer's over Starbucks or Costa. Sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, and we did that and had some strawberries at, um, not Frankie and Benny's, what's it called? Had some strawberries at Thornton's and I'm just going to go in with the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Hmm. I'm going to use this brush with it. and yeah it was really really nice day I, I loved just spending time with my mum I loved just the shopping and I've not really bought makeup in so long that it was really nice to actually go and buy makeup um oh I'll tell you what I also ordered as well but I had to order it online I ordered some of the elf uh, concealer that everyone's going on about so if you want me to do like a test of that against like shape tape just let me know um and like I say, I am going to try and do more videos that are drugstore. So if there's any like particular drugstore product you want me to ch uh, try, especially for the older skin, just let me know. Um, I have been eyeing um, the Superdrug own brand. Is it B or something? Oh, and I'll tell you what they've got in Superdrug now. They did in the Trafford Centre. Um, they've got Flower Beauty, which is the one that Drew Barrymore does. Like they had a little stand with like different like new brands so let me know if you want me to try um that out because they had a foundation and i will do that and i tell you what super drug ad as well um i was going to put some concealer on my nose and try and really buff it in because my nose is really bad at the moment to put myself in the eye um they also had um 
NYX in Superdrug now. Not that it's a big deal because I could have got it from Boots, but yeah, I just thought that was a bit odd. Everywhere now, innit? I'm just going to set my under eye. I eat it when? Because I've got the little tub of elf. Sorry, let me just do that. I've got the little elf under eye thing. So, you know, like sometimes when you open it and like all the powder flies out and you feel like, oh, it's just so wasteful. Oh, well. I'll tell you what I really wanted from Venti. The liners. But you have to buy them as a pack and they're quite expensive. It was like, wait, what, 27 quid for three? And I'm like, for something that I probably won't use enough times to like justify that price even though i was getting it with my points i couldn't do it i just couldn't um i'm gonna go in with a new bronzer this is by kiko the reason i went into kiko i weren't like planning to go on to kiko but they had like a massive sale on so i got like loads of stuff like 50 percent off or 30 percent off and i just thought it was a really good deal um so i got this bronzer this is the beyond limits maxi bronzer in number two active sienna um this looks kind of cool when i swatched it um the lighter one just seemed too light for me it seemed more like you know like extra fair people um you know like um I keep saying um you know like redheads like that kind of fair um i'm just gonna go in with a molly o'brien contour brush oh oh she's pigmented oops maybe i could have got away with number one Oh my god, I did not expect that. Note to sell, don't just go heavy with... I didn't even go heavy, I did like one dash. Like, look, that's one dash. Look at that. Not so bad on my temples. And I don't know about what it looks like to you, but to me it doesn't look that orange. Although it has got a slight warmth to it. But when I swatched it, it didn't seem to have that warmth. I'm still going to use it. Maybe I should have got number one. By the way, if you notice that I've got dye around my hairline, it's because I had my hair did yesterday. And I can't get the bloody dye off my face. Just does not want to shift. Right, I'm actually going to go in with a big fluffy brush just to buff out those edges, just a dash of the bronzer on it because I just want to make sure it's all blended in because it is quite a warm bronzer. But I don't hate it. And I think it was like eight quid or something like that in the sale. I don't know how much it was to be honest. But yeah, I actually quite like that. I might go in and get the lighter one though just to... Um, mix and match them but I don't hate it I'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush just at the bottom of it I'm like so hot so hot what was I talking about I can't remember what I was talking about so let's go on to a new topic anyway um with that uh bronzer actually I'm actually gonna go just a little bit with it under my bottom lashes. I'm just gonna go with this fluffy brush from um, my Kit Co. Like the literally the smallest amount. I'm not even doing liner as in like the my waterline. Cause I just want it to be a soft look today. That'll do. Just to give it a bit of zhuzh. But I am gonna go back in with the colour that I did on my lid. And with my little pinky finger, I'm just going to place that on like my inner corner. Uh, I just want to really brighten that area up. Like extra. A bit like brushed here. That's like so pretty. Anyway, um, I've got a blush from them. But I've got a feeling it's like really metallic. Because it's the same thing. It's the Metal Fusion Blush. Um... 
so it's in like a pinky peachy colour so I'm going to use like a really small amount because it's got like quite a shimmer to it but I don't want it to like be really harsh. Oh it's actually quite nice that. This face is everything in it. I don't know if it goes with that bronzer, but it is pretty. Right, because I'm feeling so sweaty, I'm going to go in with um, this Urban Decay powder, which they've stopped doing. Like, why Urban Decay? Why? And so I'm just going to mix it around everything. I just want to set... My base is feeling really sticky. I don't know if it's that uh, moisturiser underneath. Well, it can't really be that. Can it? I don't know. Do you like my new t-shirt, by the way? It's got a unicorn on it. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I look like really orange there, but I can't tell. I'm just going to spritz my face just to get those colours melded. This is the Urban Decay Quick Fix. Um, I didn't get this today, but this is the Kiko, a Kiko highlighter. I figured because I was using some Kiko products, I'd use some more Kiko products. Um, this is a really, really nice highlighter. It's Gold Waves number two. And you look at it, you don't think anything special, but like, oh, look at her. She's just stunning. Don't mind all the brush hairs on my face. When you use Morphe brushes, that's what you get. I'm just gonna put some brow gel in before I do my brow, uh, my eyes. I always forget this step. Need to get a new mascara. The irony is I've actually got a load of new mascara samples in my room, it's just effort moving off this chair and the beauty of this look is as well is depending on you personally you could actually just wear it without falsies I just like falsies well I think they make my eyes look better YOLO I'm going to use a new lip liner that I've got it's only a Primark one but it's a new colour I have brought my trusty old favourite if I don't like this colour though. But they've got a fancy new packaging as now. Like this is like a really old one, but this is like the old packaging and this is like the new packaging. I don't know why I'm saying like it is that is the new packaging. But I wish they'd make it easier for you to get into them. They used to have perforated edges on them, but now they don't. It's like they want you to be frustrated. If it's a bit too pink. I know you can't have anything too pink. By the way, if my video is too bright, will you let me know? I feel like it is. Oh, before I do my lips, actually, I'm going to get my lashes. Sorry. I'm wearing the XO Beauty Style, XO Beauty Foam Ink Style in Fantasy. Just thought they'd be nice. These have got a clear band, um, which I'm not overly fond of, but I can roll with it. Now, I've tried these on before, so I know they fit me. Uh, again, if you've not seen me mention it before. Oh, someone's beeping. Um, you can get these from falseeyelashes.co.uk now, which is awesome. I'm hoping eventually they'll start stocking her makeup and stuff because I'd really like to like try her new lip liners and I really want to try her, um, if, you mean, if you're wondering why I'm saying her, it's Shanixo. I really want to try the lash glue as well. It's just that last time I bought direct, which is when I got these, um, I got hit with customs. Like the first few times I'd ordered for them, I never got hit with anything. So I just assumed we didn't get customs from New Zealand. But then the last time I did, I got hit with customs and I think it was like 25 quid. So, I'd be grudge paying customs. 
Um, so I'm just, while they're just setting, I'm just going to put this lip liner on. By the way, this is in the shade Valentine. <gasps> that shade is so pretty. That shade is lush. I love that. I'm actually going to have to go and buy a few backups of this because um, Primark have this really horrible thing of just discontinuing stuff. Um, I'm going to go over that with a gloss. This is a 3D Hydra gloss in number five and it's this beautiful baby pink um, with some like shimmer action. I'm just wiping the um, the barrel thing um, on my towel because I don't want to get like all the liner in my gloss. But yeah, I kind of wanted like an ombre lip type thing, like well, you know, like a a prominent lip line. Not too sticky actually. Not really. It's thick, but it's not sticky. Um, and I think the packaging's cute. It's really nice. I wish I got a few more colours, but I like that colour. That's really nice. Uh, so let's stick these lashes on now. They've had time to dry. Oh, I think they suit this look perfectly. I think they're gorgeous. Oh, I just think it suits this look so much. And I've got hair on my lip. Oh, the one thing about Morphe brushes is they shed like a bitch. So what do you think? This is the finished look. Let me just zoom you in. I'll just turn my light back on, is that better? Just so you can see what the eyes look like up close. Just simple. I know I have a lot of eye, uh, and usually like I do like false creases so it looks like it um, blends in, but you can see now that I do have like a hooded lid, because like the, it, the wings practically took over the space that I've got for a lid, so yeah. And how cute is this lip? So I know I was all over the place with my conversation today. I just kind of wanted to sort of say this is the end of May. Thank you ever, ever so much for watching Made Up In May. To those that commented uh, every single video, thank you so, so much for the support. I really, really do appreciate it. And for those that did just um, check in every now and again, you know, thanks for tuning in to me, basically. Um, I hope to see a change in my channel this year. I am going to, like, give it some more love, like I said, and I'm not going to be doing silly things i just want to do tutorials i just want to be it's uh, to be about the love of makeup so if that is something you're interested in definitely hit subscribe and stick around and if there's anything at all you want to see on my channel be that uh, a certain look a certain style a certain color a certain brand just let me know if you don't want to like comment down below you can always dm me on facebook twitter or instagram everything is bubbly bex beauty uh, yeah and thank you for joining me today for my birthday and for the end of made up in may officially and <laughs> um, even though we are on the 7th of june um, i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything else you'd like to talk about just let me know and uh, i will see you in next my next video bye guys